It is always exciting to see bobcats on the trail camera, especially in the daytime in full color, but most of these secretive cats are nocturnal. It's even more exciting to see these elusive cats in person. I've watched a few at a distance out on the marsh levees and grasslands, but few places offer the perfect habitat for these elusive cats to thrive and avoid detection, like the pine flatwood forest with incredibly dense saw palmetto thicket understories of coastal and central South Florida. I've never personally seen these big cats which live right behind backyards south. They very rarely enter open spaces around housing areas here when everything they need is in the safety of the jungle. Saw palmetto thickets will rip your clothes and skin to shreds and are impenetrable to humans unless hacked through with tools. And here we keep things natural. But underneath these dense saw palmetto canopies and all those dead saw palmetto fronds that collect over the years, are a maze of well-worn animal trails that are the highways and town squares of wildlife society. I found one such busy trail intersection and keep a trail camera there that can only be reached by getting down on all fours and keeping one's head low. This is where all the videos were taken. Bobcats, Lynx Rufus Floridanus, are about twice the size of a domestic cat. They have much longer legs and larger paws relative to their size. They are generally tan to yellowish brown with dark brown or black streaks. Their underparts are usually white with black spots and the insides of the legs are marked with black bars. The bobcat has tufts on its short pointed ears which have white spots on the back and they have a collar of thick ruff around the neck. Their black tipped tail is short, sometimes only a few inches and flat and gives the appearance of being bobbed. The young bobcats have mottled or spotted fur with more distinct facial markings than the adults. Melanistic or all black bobcats have been sighted about a dozen times in South Florida. Bobcat body length is between 2 to 4 feet and a male bobcat weighs 20 to 35 pounds and a female 15 to 25 pounds. They typically live 3 to 5 years in the wild. The oldest known bobcat in the wild was 16 years old and the oldest in captivity was 32. Widely distributed throughout Florida in deep forest swamps and hammock land, thick patches of salt palmetto and dense shrub thickets are important as dens and resting sites. They may have more than one home building several backup dens. In rural areas bobcats can range five or six square miles and generally cover their territory in a slow careful fashion. In urban to suburban areas, the range of their territory usually is one to two miles. Bobcats do most of their hunting at dawn, dusk, and throughout the night. They have a keen sense of hearing and excellent vision, and they can see in the dark to hunt at night. A stealthy, fierce hunter, the bobcat hunts by sight and delivers a death blow with a leaping pounce that can cover ten feet. In Florida, squirrels, rabbits, rats, and lizards are their primary prey species. Bobcats help control populations of rats, voles, and mice. Occasionally a bobcat will take a feral cat. Since Florida is an important wintering area for migrating birds, the bobcat's winter diet can include ground-dwelling birds such as towhees, robins, catbirds, and thrashers. Seeing a bobcat during the day is not that uncommon because they sleep for only two to three hours at a time and this should not be a cause for alarm. Unless a bobcat is sick or injured, they are generally elusive and not aggressive toward people. However, if you're ever faced with a threatening encounter, do not run. Bobcats will use almost all habitats including urban areas, beaches, and some agricultural areas. They prefer areas with thick cover for hunting. They will commonly climb trees or swim in search of food and are often found sunning and sheltering among tree branches. Here in Florida, that's typically the crowns of palmettos. Adult bobcats are solitary with a tendency to mark their territory with urine and feces and by scratching trees along the boundary of their territory.
Female territories are exclusive, but male territories may overlap that of many females and even those of other males. Males and females are found together only during the breeding season. Female bobcats are sexually mature at about one year of age and males at about two years. In Florida, bobcats usually breed from August to March when food is most plentiful, with the peak in February and March. One to four young are born after a gestation period of 50 to 60 days. Only female bobcats care for the young and the kittens stay with their mother until the next breeding season. A male bobcat may sire several litters at one time. Mothers choose a secluded den, usually in a hollow log or dense vegetation, to raise their litter of kittens. Bobcat kittens weigh 10 to 12 ounces at birth, open their eyes after about six days, and are weaned between three and four months of age. When the young bobcats are about five months old, their mother begins to teach them how to hunt for food. When they reach eight to 11 months old, they'll be abandoned by their mother to fend for themselves. Wild cat populations around the world are declining. Bobcats are surviving throughout most of their range. Their generalist nature allows them to live in a variety of habitats and eat different types of food. These traits allow them to adapt quickly to changes such as human population growth, increased development, and landscape alterations. All trends have had severe negative impact on other cat species, such as the Florida panther. Bobcats are small wild felids that need relatively small areas of habitat for their home ranges, allowing them to survive better in a fragmented landscape than a larger cat. However, this adaptability and resilience is limited, and a decline in bobcats has recently been observed in Florida. Rapid development in Florida may be reaching a threshold within which even bobcats cannot persist. Because predators are a critical component of a healthy ecosystem, it's important to monitor bobcat populations and implement conservation actions where needed. Bobcats are native to Florida and conserving and connecting tracts of suitable habitat for bobcats and their prey may help stabilize populations and prevent bobcats from joining many of their feline cousins on the threatened or endangered species list. The native bobcat is not listed as endangered or threatened, but it is classified as a fur-bearing game animal by the Florida Game and Freshwater Fish Commission with a legal hunting season in Florida. A bobcat can be taken as a nuisance if it causes or is about to cause property damage or presents a threat to public safety. Euthanasia of any live captured bobcat is prohibited. They must be released. The other wild big cat, the Florida panther, is much larger, up to four times larger than the bobcat, in fact. An adult male panther weighs about 130 pounds, and an adult female panther weighs about 80 pounds. A panther also has a signature much longer tail than a bobcat, with a black tip at the end. The bobcat has excellent eyesight and hearing and can swim and climb trees, which helps protect them from other animal enemies. They can coexist with panthers because they don't target the same prey.
This big cat decides to spend some time staking out the intersection to see if any food stops by. A few minutes after the bobcat gets bored and moves on, a big juicy rat appears. There are thousands of rats for the bobcat and unfortunately feral cats to eat. Without the cats, invasive rats would run rampant. And rats actually are death to ground nesting birds, relentlessly hunting out nests and eating eggs and nestlings on the ground. This big bobcat is spraying its scent on this trail marker. This palmetto tree at two main trail intersections is an important scent marking spot. Here this bobcat spends considerable time to read the signs. <laughs> 